Yo, what is up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your disk. So we're going to be going through things like disk cleanup, defragging our hard drive or trimming our SSD. And also we'll be going through enabling super fetch for hard drives. Obviously, if you're on SSD, you skip this part and we're going to be moving our documents, downloads, videos and pictures to our hard drive or something where we don't want it stored on our main SSD. Let's get right into disk cleanup. So head over to the link in the description. We're going to be using this program called Winterstat, which basically shows us which folders are taking the most space on our disk or on our volume. So we're going to be clicking FOSSHUB at the top right here. We're going to click Winterstat Windows Installer. And we're just going to set up the program real quickly and press run. Now, this is where you want to check which drives you want to look at. So if you want to look at all the drives, you obviously will click all local drives. But if you want to just look at one or two, then you'd click individual drives. So in my situation, I'd click games and my C drive and I'm going to press OK. Most of you should be just clicking the C drive since most of you have this least space on there since you probably have a lot of things stored on there, not on your secondary drive or you don't have a secondary drive. But yeah, so. It'll start looking through the whole drive. This is highly dependent on how fast your SSD is and if you have an SSD or not. If you have a hard drive, this might take a while. So I just look on your C drive. And again, guys, if you're on a hard drive in 2022, I'd highly recommend to upgrade to an SSD. Now, it doesn't even have to be an M.2 SSD. It could just be a SATA SSD. And what an M.2 SSD is, it's basically a stick drive. So I'll show a picture of it right now. And an SATA SSD is basically just like your hard drive. It plugs into your PC exactly like your hard drive. I highly recommend to upgrade. I'll leave some recommendations on what SSDs you should get. I'll leave some M.2 SSDs and some SATA SSDs down in the description. You could choose whichever one you want and you could buy them. But highly, highly recommend it if you're on a hard drive. Get an SSD ASAP. As you can see, it's finished looking through our two volumes now as you can see this graph at the bottom it's not really a graph but it's like showing you which files are taking the most which file types we're just gonna ignore that that's not what we're here for so i'm gonna be expanding our game slash my game slash tweaks drive and i'm gonna be looking at which folder is taking the most gigabytes so for example optimization files is taking the most 86 gigabytes and also if you look down there there's fortnite there's Riot Games, which is Valorant, and there's Call of Duty. So you're just gonna keep looking through this and seeing which thing you don't really need. I need all of this on my game slash tweaks drive, so we'll be closing that. But on my C drive, on the other hand, as you see, there is Windows, which you need this folder. If you're gonna delete something, make sure that you know what it is and that you aren't using it. So some of you are gonna have users at the top of the list. And the reason for that is if you expand this and go to your user folder, which is for me, it's called administrator. Some of you might have, for example, 200 to 100 gigabytes just sitting in your videos folder. I'll be showing you in the last step of this video on how to move everything like that onto your hard drive and just keep it saved there so it doesn't take up space on your SSD. If you have clips that you don't need in your videos folder, highly recommend to delete them now. Same thing in desktop, same thing in downloads folder. Just do all of that. So keep looking through this program, seeing which folder and just keep expanding it until you see which exact file or which exact folder you need to start clearing out. So in my case, I don't really need to clear out the C drive. I have this really limited space on the C drive because I have multiple boots. So I'll show you guys in a second. As you can see, I have a lot of boots. My C drive in particular is going to be low for a reason. Now, if you are red on a drive like this, for example, that's going to cause a sort of a problem on an SSD, on a hard drive particularly as well. What you want to do is you want to have more than 10% of free space left over. So I have a 500 gigabyte SSD, so 10% of that is like 50 gigabytes. I want to have more than 50 gigabytes freed in order to have the best performance because under 10% is really where the SSD starts losing some of its performance. So you really want to make sure that 
you're storing most of your things that just you aren't using daily on your hard drive or secondary drive or even an external drive and just keeping your SSD 10% or more freed. We're going to be finished up with the Windows stat and now we're going to go to defragging our hard disk slash trimming our SSD. So in this situation, if you're on a hard drive, it's going to be called defragging and if you're on a SSD, it's going to be called trimming. Now you could defrag an SSD the only issue with that you're most likely lose performance so I wouldn't really recommend it the thing about SSDs is you want to make sure trim is enabled kind of like defragging but it's for SSDs you can search up more on it on how it works on Google but I won't be explaining how it works in this video just know that if it's not running it's gonna cause a lot of performance loss I'm gonna open up CMD so Windows key and R type CMD press OK and then if you head over to the link in the description, copy the command that I have and paste it in here. So just to make sure, obviously run CMD as administrator or else this command won't work whenever you paste it in. I'm going to be pasting the command in right now and you want to just press enter. And if it says zero, that means trim is in fact enabled and you're good to go. So. If it's not enabled, then this is the command that should enable it. I'll leave it also in the description. You just press enter on that and it disables the, it just sets it, it, trim to enable. So most of you should already have trim enabled because Windows has gotten pretty good at recognizing you have an SSD or recognizing you have a hard drive. So if you're on a hard drive, do not do either one of these. I'll just show you how to defrag slash trim. To defrag our SSD, I mean, excuse me, to trim our SSD, slash defrag our hard drive you want to go to your local disk right click on it click properties go to tools and under optimize and defrag my drive press optimize and as you can see the last time i trimmed my ssd was a day ago i'll be tripping it again this video so you want to make sure on scheduled optimization you want this to run weekly make sure that is running weekly and then pressing ok for me, it's already done, so I'll be pressing cancel. And if none of these have been trimmed, so it says never trimmed, never optimized, then you wanna click on the SSD part and you wanna click optimize, and it's gonna start trimming the SSD. And if you have multiple volumes like me on a single SSD, you're gonna have to do this for all the volumes. But if you only have one volume, then ignore this. Just do your C drive and then you should be good to go. Now, hard drive, I have a hard drive myself, so this is gonna be called defragmenting, which takes a while. So if you don't have that much time right now, I highly recommend just doing, doing this overnight or over a period of time where you're not home or not using the PC. So you just wanna click on your hard drive, optimize, and it's gonna start analyzing it, then it's gonna start defragging it. That's pretty much it for defragging slash trimming our SSD. If you're on a hard drive, and the way to know if you're on a hard drive or an SSD is open up your task manager, head over to performance, and as you can see, disk one is my C drive, which is an SSD, as task manager says. Same thing with our hard drive. Now, there's another tool we can use to check our SSD slash hard drive health, which is called Crystal Disk Info. I'll also be leaving a link in the description on where to download this. Once you have it downloaded, extract it, obviously, and then double click disk info 64exe And as you can see, this is my hard drive health status. Good. Now for my SSD, it's my SSD. Good. 65%. Now, some of you might have really bad SSDs. I'm talking 30% health status. And you could tell the SSD is kind of slowing down by freezes randomly within Windows. I'd highly recommend replacing the SSD and getting a DRAM SSD. Now there are SSDs that are really cheap, but do not have DRAM, which over time, it starts getting really slow, slower than a hard drive. In this case, that's why I also recommended the SSDs I have recommended in the description. I'd highly recommend picking an SSD from that list. If you don't, then just make sure that the, D the SSD has a DRAM. If it doesn't, then you're going to run into a lot of issues later on. But as you can see, my SSD is about 65%. I haven't noticed any freezes within Windows or any performance loss within my SSD. Now, there are other information in the software. You can look at it. But the other information we're going to be looking at is our transfer mode. Now, if you're using a older motherboard, if you're on an older PC, then this might be less than 600. 
So you just want to make sure that if you're on a newer PC, this is 600. This is for SATA drives. If you're on an M.2, it's kind of different. If you're on an M.2, you don't really need to worry about this because it's running a lot faster than 600 gigabytes. But the transfer mode, if you're on a SATA SSD, which is the one where it plugs in with a cable, it's not the stick. You want to make sure it's on SATA 600. If it's not, then you want to change around the ports of, on your motherboard because some ports might be SATA 2, which is slower, and some ports might be SATA 3, which is the one you want, which is 600 gigabytes transfer speed. So that's that for this step. Now we're going to be moving on to enabling Superfetch for our hard drive. So if you're on a hard drive, obviously I showed you how to check if you are. Press your Windows key and R, type services.msc. As you can see, this is where all your services are at. And you just want to go down and find something called... So you want to find something called sysmain. Now, on this Windows install, I actually don't have it because I'm on my custom Windows, which I stripped Superfetch out of because most people are not SSD that I optimize. I'll leave a picture above of what sysmain looks like. And you just want to make sure it's set on automatic if you're on a hard drive. If you're on an SSD, disable this. There's no point of having this enabled. But if you're on a hard drive, please enable this. It should help you alleviate some of the effects of having a hard drive. <laughs> but anyways, I, I'd, I'd also highly recommend upgrading it so you can avoid doing this because hard drives are a pain, a really big pain, especially to work with. I've had some people with the complete PC session. Whenever they booked that service, I'd had to work with them on a hard drive. So please get an SSD again. All recommendations are in the description and it depends on your motherboard if you want to go with an M.2 or it's just a normal SATA. We could close out of all of this now. There's one thing we could check before we head over to removing our documents and downloads and videos. You want to open up Device Manager, so you want to press Windows key and R, type devmgmt.msc, press OK. Should open up Device Manager. Now you want to click View Devices by Connection, scroll down. Find your hard drive or find your SSD. For me, it's right here. If this says anything other than AHCI, then you want to change a setting in your BIOS and you might have to reinstall Windows as well. There's something called, there's other protocols called RAID or IDE. You do not want to be on IDE. RAID and HCI is kind of the same thing. So I just stay on those to avoid reinstalling Windows. But if you are on RAID, you could reinstall Windows, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think there's any difference between RAID and HCI in terms of performance. But if you're on an IDE or anything older, then please, please, please change your BIOS setting to HCI and reinstall Windows. And obviously, you're going to have to reinstall Windows with a USB, so make sure you have that handy before switching it. And if you do switch it and you blue screen whenever you try to boot into Windows, just switch it back and it should just boot you normally but either way make sure you're on ahci not anything like ide if you're on raid again you're fine most some pre-builds have it on raid so i just leave it at that but if you're on ide or on something similar that's really old please switch off of it most motherboards should have ahci that is that for this step we'll be moving on to our next step so we're going to be moving our documents folder and some of these folders that are like documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos. We're going to be moving these to our hard drive or secondary drive if you have one. Now, if you don't have one and you only have a single disk, just skip the steps, skip to the end of the video. But if you have a hard drive that is secondary or just a secondary SSD or just a secondary external hard drive, I'd recommend just doing this to alleviate some of the space that is being taken on your SSD. So I'm going to be going on with documents folder. You want to right click on it, click properties, click location, and you just want to click move and you want to find your hard drive, which is right here for me. You want to click new, right click, click new, click folder and just type documents and then click on it. Make sure you just click on it. Do not open it. Just click on it and press select folder. And you want to press apply. And it's going to ask you, do you want to move all the files from the old location to the new location? Press yes. So yeah, it's going to move all the files. And then once it's done, it's going to go back to the screen. You just want to press OK. And we're going to do the same thing for downloads, music, pictures, and videos folder. 
So when is that? Once all that is done, we could run Windows Windows that again and just check how much space we have that is on the SSD now. So I'll be choosing C drive, of course. Basically, once you expand users folder, you should see that there are there is no downloads or some of the folders that we move to our hard drive. Let's go under administrator, and as you can see, downloads and documents is not there. Actually, downloads is there. But these are just files that are taking no space at all. So if we expand it, as you can see, there is nothing. Same thing with videos. But if we expand, if we go into our hard drive, we will see, in fact, that there is a downloads folder, videos folder, and it basically contains all of our things that we move from the SSD to our hard drive that we don't really open. And they are just stored there. So pretty much you should have saved a ton of space. There's just one thing that you should do in order to make sure that files should start saving to these new new directories of, for the folders so if you want to go in geforce experience you just want to make sure the videos folder is set on your secondary drive and then videos folder and google chrome browsers should already start downloading to the downloads folder and if it doesn't just make sure it does most likely will you won't have any issue with that same thing with documents same thing with music all that it should start saving onto there onto the specified folders because we changed it in windows we didn't really change it specifically for any program we changed it for all programs so i'm gonna close out of all of this and that is pretty much it guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i really hope you saved a lot of space and learned something new and of course if you did please like and subscribe comment down below what you think of this video and how it helped you and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys for watching